So today I'm talking about a P2187 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2187 code? Well, it's a system two lean at idle bank one. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's oxygen sensors located down on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And they report this information back to the computer. And then the computer uses the information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. But when you get this P2187 code, those O2 sensors are reporting back to the computer that the bank one side of the engine is running lean, which basically means more air than gas is going into that side of the engine. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder on your engine, since there is differences, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one, and then the opposite is going to be bank two. If you have a four-cylinder engine, then it wouldn't matter because there'll only be one bank. And one thing to note about this P2187 code is that it can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot sometimes since it could be caused by so many different things. So be sure to keep that in mind. Also, if you're getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because they can help point you to what the problem is. And so there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this code. And so one of the first things to do is to find out if bank one is running lean or it's a bad O2 sensor that's just reporting bad information back to the computer. If you have a bad sensor on bank one side of the engine, then that's going to be reporting bad information back to the computer. And so the computer is just going to think there's a problem when there isn't a problem. So you can go test those O2 sensors and be sure that they're working correctly. There's going to be two on each bank of the engine. You're going to have sensor one before the catalytic converter, also called the upstream O2 sensor. And there's also going to be a sensor two called the downstream O2 sensor that's located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it. Usually the one I'm going to test for this code is going to be the bank one sensor one O2 sensor or the upstream O2 sensor. There's some different ways to go about testing those O2 sensors. I made some videos on this. I'll put a link down below if you need it. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad O2 sensor. And then the next thing that could cause this is that there is a lean condition on bank one side of the engine. And so again, there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. You could take out the spark plugs on bank one side of the engine and check to see how they're burning. If you look at the tip, you could tell if they're burning rich or they're burning lean or they're burning correctly. You could look online for spark plug burn charts and you can match them up and you could tell how that cylinder is burning. And if you find one cylinder that's burning too lean, then you could just focus in on that one cylinder. You could check and be sure like the injector is working good on that cylinder and things like this. If the whole bank is running lean, then that would point to something more like low fuel pressure or something like that. But like I said, there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this code. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad O2 sensor. The next thing that could cause this is a dirty or bad mass airflow sensor. These mass airflow sensors are measuring all the air going into the engine. And if they go bad, they could cause problems, they could cause issues. Usually if it is a bad mass airflow sensor, it's going to happen on both banks of the engine. It wouldn't just be one bank. Also, usually you get another code like a P0103 mass or volume airflow A circuit high. So if you were getting this code, then it's a good idea to go check out that mass airflow sensor because one of the things that could cause this is a bad MAF sensor. The next thing that could cause this is a vacuum leak or an intake air leak. And basically all the air going into the engine should be going in through the throttle body, which is being controlled by the computer. But if air is getting around this somehow, then this can cause a vacuum leak, also called an intake air leak. And so this can be something like a broken hose, a bad gasket, something along those lines. There's different ways to go about checking for a vacuum leak. A very common method is to use a smoke machine and you feed smoke into the intake and wherever the smoke comes out, you know where the leak's at, you're able to fix it. There's also some other methods on how to go about finding a vacuum leak, but the next thing that could cause this is a vacuum leak. Another thing that could cause this is an exhaust leak. And basically if some outside air is getting into the exhaust before it reaches those O2 sensors, then this can throw them off and cause them to get bad readings and things like this. So be sure to keep a lookout for any exhaust leaks because the next thing that could cause this is an exhaust leak. And the next thing that causes is a fuel delivery problem on bank one side of the engine. And this is going to be like a bad injector, low fuel pressure, there's a bad sensor or something like this. And again, be sure to pay attention to your codes because they can help point you to what the problem is. Like if you get an injector code or you get like a P0301, P0302, point you to like a cylinder misfire or something like that. So you can narrow in on that cylinder or cylinders more. You can also check and be sure that the fuel pressure going up to the engine is good. You can use a fuel pressure gauge. You can look up what the rated fuel pressure is supposed to be for your particular vehicle and be sure that it's correct and that it's not too low. Well, for example, say your vehicle is supposed to be running at like 60 PSI, but you go to check it and it's running at 50 PSI, then that would be something like a bad fuel pump 
or a bad fuel filter or something like that. But usually when those go bad, it affects both sides of the engine. Although sometimes strange things happen. So it is possible that there is some kind of issue going on there. But the last thing on the list is going to be a fuel delivery problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2187 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.